The wilds of Seamont. The wilds of Seamont. The lions, the tigers, the bears. Oh my. <laughs> Chris found a drop rack. And it looks pretty interesting for the mild off-roader or the person who's a little older in age. You want to be very or, careful, mate. Or doesn't have... These rock racks can be... Uh, the teeth can be mighty sharp. Or doesn't have a ladder. <laughs> and it's actually pretty interesting. So we're going to sneak up on them and see what it's all about. Ready? I'm ready. All right. Let's do it. All right. Okay. Let's see who we should talk to about here. Who should we hey, talk to? You know? Hi. 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 Who do we talk to? Go that way? Him. We're just gonna barge in because we're live. We're rude and we're live. Oh. How you doing? Oh, okay, we talked before. I'm gonna mic you up. Okay, thank you. So, so, so we're with Gone Jeepin and unofficial use only, and we're walking around and checking out cool products. Okay. And as we're cruising by, we saw this beautiful drop rack. Yeah. Um, you know, and I think it fits a good need for a lot of people who don't have ladders or don't have extreme overland rigs. Um, it makes it be carrying a load the, pretty convenient, right? You don't right? have the muscles that Greg has. So like, Where's, the that? Youth, Where's that? Where's that? The youth. And the youth. To jump up top. <laughs> 46. So, so, hell yeah. can you so tell, tell us all about it. it. Well, drop racks, uh, you can see it here. Uh, you basically bring down the entire rack from top of the car down to a more convenient height. This is the Drop Racks XL model. It's the one that is most popular for the American trucks and American SUVs. So um, Greg, you could even get to this. I probably load. could. Look at that. Two, yeah. You and I could actually pull this kayak off this. You know, well, it's strapped on, so I don't want to try right now. Yeah, well, you can put 175 pounds on it. Really? Yeah, absolutely. That's impressive. Yeah, and it, you, it's also compatible with all um, third-party accessories for kayaks, bikes, and so on. Right. Uh, if it has the standard T-belt connections. So that's quite a few. Yeah. Yeah. So how does it go up and down? I'll show you. So this is basically the hand crank. So it's manually triggered or you use manual input. Release it like this and you can crank it like so. It goes up. And if I let go of it, it just stays there. So nothing happens. You can also extend it like this for more leverage if it's very heavy items. Uh, but today it's not that heavy. It's very simple. Just winding it up like this. Attaching the crank. Again, self locking. It doesn't go down. Uh, you can push it in. Like that. Very good to go. So now it's just the normal roof rack. So, so what's the retail price point of that? That one currently is two thousand six hundred US dollars, including shipping. That's not bad. No, it's 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 not bad for a decent. Roof so, rack. what we can't do is we can't show this video to my wife because then I'm going to have to give you two thousand six hundred dollars. Yeah, probably. <laughs> you know, the cool thing is I noticed when it comes out, it, it could actually double as like a little shade. Yeah, as a little shade. Because it locks itself in place, so it's not coming back yeah, at you. We also have a lot of customers that use these for kayaks, and they have their wetsuits. So after they've been out kayaking, they just hang them down here from the hangers. The, the customers are getting a bit creative and put uh, lead bars on the front, lights on the top to like down on the rack, uh, showers on the opposite side, all all kinds of stuff. Uh, so how does, how does uh, somebody find these work and they find the product? Find it on dropracks.com currently, okay. and then from 2024 there will probably be more around. Okay, in good. The US as well. So dropracks.com. Yeah, correct. Awesome. Thank you so very much. Okay, thank you. Beautiful new product. Thank uh, you very much. Yeah, I love it. My wife will love it more, and I'd have to buy one, so we sh she can't watch this. What's that? It's gonna cost you 2,600 bucks. I know. <laughs> thank fine. you so much, sir. Yeah. All right. Thank awesome. you.